Okay, team, I want you to take a moment. I want you to take two minutes and read this question. Now, this is a question involving a student that is decoding, and they're at that early word recognition stage, at that pre and partial alphabetic stage, okay? So if you have to review, pause the video and, and read over what a predictable text is, because that's gonna be one of the ideas in this, and go back and review these stages here of um, pre-alphabetic and partial alphabetic, okay? And uh, remember, at, in these stages here, they're 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 either not reading yet or they're they're just at the start of reading mainly leaning on the picture cues and visual cues okay all right take 2 minutes read this to yourself and then we'll talk okay unpause <laughs> okay this is from that texas science of teaching reading exam i really like this exam i had to say i read this exam texas i read it and you might not like it, but I really appreciate it. And I think other teachers, teachers in Massachusetts or California or Ohio or North Carolina, I think they're going to dig this test because it's got a lot of challenging questions on it. Okay, so good one to take a look at. But um, here, let's read. I'm going to um, I'm going to read through, and as I read, I, I might paraphrase things to make it easier. But here it goes. Number thirty-one. It says a third-grade teacher reviews data on the literacy skills of several beginner level English learners. Let's circle that, that's pretty important. Um, so first of all, it's a scenario involving English learners, right? And it's beginner level. So we think of entering, emerging, developing, let me write that down. Entering, emerging, developing, expanding, bridging, reaching, these sort of these six levels. And we, we break them up into uh, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Entering and emerging would sort of be at that beginning stage. Developing and expanding would be at that intermediate. Advanced would be bridging and reaching. So right now, this teacher is looking at data on the literacy skills or the reading and writing skills of several beginner entering and emerging English language learners. Okay? All right who did not attend school prior to moving to the United States. Another major detail, so let's circle that. They haven't attended school yet. So we're looking at a student that has had no formal or informal education. So, so this student, if we think about this, English language learner, they're working on language two, but in language one, they've, they haven't gone to school in language one. They haven't built up any literacy skills in language one. So this student is at least two years behind, at least two years behind. So we have this third grade, it says third grade, right? But you gotta go back, second grade, go back, uh, first grade, you gotta go back even further because they haven't had any formal education. So you're, you're looking at, um, you're really looking at pre-kindergarten to kindergarten, okay? Do you understand? So, so there are several uh, uh, details here. One, the students at a beginner level, a beginner level English learner. So that means that they're already entering emerging. And two, uh, they haven't, they're way behind in even language one because they never went to school. So they're starting at the beginning. Pre so they're gonna be working on skills, pre-kindergarten, kindergarten level, okay? All right, let's keep going. Um, the teacher wants to plan appropriate, I like this word, they like to use this word appropriate, appropriate small group reading instruction for the students. Okay, so stu the teacher is going to plan reading instruction, and you need to remember this instruction. It's got to be working on the basics, right? They're going to be working on the basics. Which of the following types of text, what type of text, what type of book or story or what type of text uh, best meets the reading development needs of English learners who are at that emergent stage of English language development and at the pre-alphabetic phase of word reading. All right. And we have these options. I think the answer to this is in this word, pre-alphabetic. It's right there. It's looking right at you. Pre-alphabetic. It means you're before the alphabetical principle. The student has not acquired the alphabetical principle. It's pre-alphabetic. 
So you can't use a text that's going to lean on the alphabetical principle, meaning it's not going to be a text that requires reading. So like a, a decodable story, you know, ain't going to work because the student doesn't have the alphabetical principle down. Uh, an informational text is not going to work. Then uh, it's way too advanced. An age appropriate story. Well, the student is in third grade but we already said they're several years behind. So an age appropriate story really wouldn't match up with this student, right? What would work? Well, you'd have to find a text that is uh, designed for a beginner reader, a text that would have um, a lot of uh, elements in it that would support reading, even if the student is not reading yet. And that would be a predictable text, just like Brown Bear, Brown Bear which has a certain level of repetition in the language so the student could acquire it just by hearing it several times and has enough visual clues like the brown bear or the blue dog or the, I don't know what the animals were, or, or the goldfish, right? There was the goldfish, there was a brown bear, there was the, there was the sheep, there was, uh, yes, yes, you get the idea, right? They'd be able to look at the cues, the red bird, they'd be, I got that one, They'd be able to look at the cues in the picture and uh, they might have the basics of like B is for bear to start to spot some of these words, but they're going to be recalling, uh, they're going to be using the picture cues um, and recalling, you know, memorizing almost the whole words, um, recognizing the words, the whole words, not decoding them. Okay, team, do you see how brown bear, brown bear would work in this scenario for students that are not decoding yet yes you know when my when my first my first daughter came home and she she was reading brown bear brown bear i actually thought she was reading i was like oh my god she's four years old and she's reading uh, and she was not it took a, it took a while before she would get to that stage so it's a good scenario on a lot of different levels team the answer is c great question from this test here uh, let me circle. Nice answer C. It's from that Texas Science and Teaching Reading exam. If you go to this exam, you'll see that they have write-ups, and the write-ups are really juicy and detailed. So if you want to get to know this information more, you know, going to an exam that has really good detailed write-ups helps you get uh, get a lot of the vocabulary down. So I, I encourage you to uh, to take a look at this exam and look at the write-ups, and they'll help you. Okay. All right. Let's go to the next one. Uh, now, the next scenario that we're going to look at is uh, is going to involve uh, um, looking at a scenario involving a pre-alphabetic student and a fully alphabetic student. So let's go take a look at that now.